What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. Today, guys, I'm I'm here today to do a little bit of a rant. Yes, guys, the rant series is trying to find its way back. I've been doing a couple. Um, I did the No Way Out 2012 rant a couple of week, um, about probably like eight days ago. No, 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 no. It was um, um, 13 days ago. My bad. And you guys enjoyed that a lot. So I put out another community post. And I said, what's up, guys? I have another question for you for another rant I'm going to be doing. This one is going to be later in November, which is like right now, um, before Survivor Series. So I just need your opinion. Show me... To put your opinions right here and tell me what rant you want the most again, because I'm going to be doing a couple of rants. The thing was, Survivor Series 2013, or Survivor Series, the year I started watching WWE. Survivor Series 2010. Survivor Series 2010 got 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 56 percent, and Survivor Series 2013 got um 44. So thank you. I went back and watched maybe every single Raw. No, not every Raw and SmackDown. Every Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania 26. Just to get to this. I am here today to talk about Survivor Series 2010. Now, as you see, I got this for five bucks. Yeah, because mine, I think I played it too much. My other copy is scratched to hell. I wonder why I watched this so much. This pay-per-view is garbage. This pay-per-view should have never came about. Well, first of all, this cover says it all. You have Wade Barrett versus Randy Orton and the special guest referee, a computerized John Cena, and a referee shirt too big for his damn body. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, that has to be probably like a 2XL. With no hat on, no C Nation. Where's the Nexus armband, Cena? Besides this one that Wade Barrett has. You guys, you really so yes, I got this for five dollars in that huge V stock pickup haul that I did. So you're you're telling me you went with this cover? Well, first of all, for the cover, but and the DVD. But, why is this, but not on the back? You seriously could not have gone with this cover right here. This cover right here, folks. Orton Barrett Cena with a C-Nation hat. Which is he gonna do? This, the Nexus came about in June, July 2010. I think it was like June 7th. Um, it was that Fatal 4-Way. Yeah, 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 remember that pay-per-view? I don't. I don't want to relive it. I don't want... Every pay-per-view except, like, Clash, um, Clash of the Castle. Uh, no. Um, Night of Champions 2010, ba Bragging Rights 2010, Hell in a Cell 2010, and then Survivor Series 2010. I didn't watch. Besides um, Extreme Rules and WrestleMania 26. I didn't watch Fatal 4-Way. I didn't watch SummerSlam, which is which I already have a review out on that one. And I did one with the DVD Freak on that one. So thank you um, for letting me do that with you, um, DVD Freak. Um, his link will be in the description down below. Go sub to him. Um, but yes... I didn't watch the Fatal 4-Way crap. I didn't watch Money in the Bank. I didn't watch whatever. All I did 
was watch WrestleMania 26, Extreme Rules, Over the Limit. For some stupid reason, I watched that. Um, and um, Bragging Rights 2010 and um, um, Hell in the Cell. And, and, of course, Night of Champions. But, yes, guys, we are here. It's Survivor Series season. So I said to myself, let's put out a... I said, let's put out a poll. Because I had no idea which one I was going to do. And it's Survivor, if Survivor Series 2010 won. And yes, guys, I will be watching um, TLC 2010. But, that, but, but that's not getting a rant. Because it's better than this pile of garbage right here. So, th the cover sucks. This, sh this should have been it. So, it's... Um, it's fr it's free or be fired. And that stupid storyline piece of crap. For once proud WWE champion and now resident Nexus member, John Cena. At WWE Survivor Series, John Cena's career once... Or, John Cena's career comes to an extreme crossroads. Yeah, crossroads, all right. Fucking this paper real. Uh, what? Uh, what? I'm sorry. Uh, when he is a special guest referee who can count to two, folks. I'll get to that in a second. Jeez. And in the in the WWE Championship match between Randy Orton and his challenger, Nexus leader Wade Barrett. If Barrett wins the Covenant title, Cena is free from the Nexus. If Orton retains the title, John Cena is fired from, from WWE. Yeah, yeah, guess what, guys? He, he was fired, but he was there every single week after this pay-per-view. Will the, will the Radar Superstar Edge capitalize on the golden opportunity when he tangles with the Devil's favorite demon, World Heavyweight Champion Kane? Plus, Rey Mysterio and Alberto Del Rio, a.k.a. Alberto Jail Jailberto. Alberto Jailberto. Teams, leads teams in, to, in a traditional Survivor Series el el elimination tag. All this and more with the WWE superstars of Raw and SmackDown presents. I believe this was the 24th annual Survivor Series. I think that's right. Hold up. Yeah, the 24th annual on November 21st, 2010. So, we we already talked about the cover. I think it should I think it should have been this. But no. The 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 big fight feel in a 2XL referee shirt. John Cena looks like a computerized John Cena. It's stupid. From Miami, Florida, in American Airlines Arena, 8,000 people in attendance. Yay, I think they all got their money back. <laughs> this is a terrible pay-per-view, guys. D d please don't go back and watch this. I mean, the... I mean, the only match good on here... The, I think there's like two. John Morrison versus Sheamus. Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase for the United States title. That's it. You have on this card nine matches. And here's the disc artwork again if you didn't see it. Yes. I watched this too many times that I had to rebuy it. Just for this, and, and because I wanted it back in my collection to watch it. But yes, guys, I just got this f for the rant, like, for real. But yes, in one dark match, you had R-Truth defeat Zack Ryder. Yay. And, and here's the back if, like, I only showed you this picture, but here's, like, the back. Okay, so... There's two matches on here that are good. Out of nine. Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase. Or Bryan Danielson now. Uh, for the United States title. John Morrison versus Sheamus. That lasted 
11 minutes and 11 seconds. Wow, you timed that one great. Um, so, This match came along. I mean, the, the, they had a great match for the number one contendership at TLC. To face against The Miz. Oh, yeah, and The Miz um, cashed, in, cashed in the next night on Raw after this pay-per-view. You can cash in right now. Or during this? No. So then, um, so Seamus was bullying everybody. Everybody that was John Morrison's friend. And he says, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stuff his, his head in a toilet. His head in the toilet. And I'm not going to stuff him in the locker. But what I am going to do, and I'm going to break his spirit. I'm going to break his body. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But John Morrison won, right? So it's like, for real, like this, that was the... That was a good match. But to kick off the night with Daniel Bryan and Ted DiBiase, great. Perfect. Sign me up. John Morrison versus Sheamus. Sign me up. Just don't, don't put this match on the card, please. And then we have Dolph Ziggler versus Caval. Who? 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 Who is Caval? He is a season two winner of NXT. He gets to choose. I actually heard um the uh, DVD freaks um uh re review of this pay per view. So um yeah. So so shout out to you again. Um. So, Caval could have chosen, for, for the winner of NXT Season 2, he could have got any title. The world title, the US title, the IC title, which he got. Um, the tag team title, I don't care. Maybe the Divas title for all we care. This match sucked. This man could have went against Randy Orton Kane. Except he would have got his ass broken. So, Dolph Ziggler versus Caval. Nobody knew who this guy was. I forgot who he was. So, Do Dolph Ziggler retains. Cool. It, it, it wasn't a great match. And, and this wasn't a great pay-per-view at all. I'm on the fourth match. Two of these matches are great. Like I keep saying, go back and watch um, Sheamus versus John Morrison. Great match. Then we get to Team Mysterio versus Team Del Rio. Yay! This match lasted 18 minutes and 12 seconds. A five-on-five -five Survivor Series el el elimination match. This match could have been 21 minutes and nobody would care. You have Big Show. AEW. Chris Masters. I don't know where he is. Kofi Kingston. St still, in still in WWE. MVP. Montel, is Montel, Montel Vontavious Porter. Probably my, my relative. No. <laughs> and Rey Mysterio. One. Rey Mysterio. MVP. Kofi Kingston. On that team, they're in WWE. Versus Team Dorito. Team Jailbird. I don't know. Team Del Rio. Whatever. I'll, this team consists of... Guys, I don't like Alberto Del Rio anymore. He's not coming back to WWE. So Alberto Del Rio... I'm sorry about that. 
Alberto Del Rio, Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, Jack Swagger, and the all-time favorite who we all know and love, Tyler Rex. Okay. Who the hell is Tyler Rex? Before watching this pay-per-view, like I said, I watched every Raw and SmackDown. Tyler Rex. Still have no idea who he is. Here is a picture of him. Now he goes by Gabby Tough. Oh, so this guy, or girl now, um, Gabby Tough publicly came out as a trans um, woman in February 2021. So he, so I guess now she is um, that looks like this. That was in 2012. So G good for you. Um, like I said, I don't remember this guy slash girl now um, at all. Yes, he slash she clotheslined the big show. After he knocked out Cody Rhodes. So. Do you know who Tyler Rex is? Or. 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 Or Gabby Tough now? No! No! Nobody remembers you! And then we get. So, okay, okay, okay. So, I'll I'll tell you. The only people that I liked in this match were Big Show, Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio is my all-time favorite superstar. The first time I turned on the television to watch WWE, Rey Mysterio and I fell in harmony. We, I fell in love with Rey Mysterio. I grew up to like Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Undertaker, Edge, Eddie Guerrero. But the one superstar that I like the most, besides Undertaker, is Rey Mysterio. Okay, so MVP eliminated by Drew McIntyre. Cool. Chris Masters, don't care, versus got, got eliminated by Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio got punched in the face by the Big Show. Really? He's laying on the floor and you say, okay, first of all, Alberto Del Rio, not pinned, not pinned at all, not submitted. Down goes Del Rio, Matt Stryker says. Not pinned or submitted. He is still in the match. Oh, wait. No, he's not. He's down on the floor and got eliminated by a knockout punch. Got carted off to the back. What? Kofi Kingston. Dot. No, I'm sorry. Ty um, Cody Rhodes. El eliminated by the Big Show. And this says... Alberto Del Rio, eliminated by Big Show, unable to compete. What? 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 Cody Rhodes got, got eliminated by the Big Show, knockout punch as well. Tyler Rex, eliminated by Kofi Kingston. <coughs> I am literally losing my voice from yelling. Great job. Kofi Kingston, el eliminated by Jack Swagger. Submission. Jack Swagger, eliminated by Ray. Dan Drew Matt, I almost said Daryl Briscoe. 
I don't know why. <laughs> Drew McIntyre eliminated by Big Show. And your sole survivors. Or your survivors. Big Show and Rey Mysterio. That This match going in. This match like. Cool. But it went too long. No, it, no, it didn't go too long, but I'm, like, saying, like, why? This match was cool. But you have Chris Masters, Tyler Rex. You couldn't pick anybody else. Tyler Rex? Really? Really? You couldn't pick, like, don't know. Jericho? Was he around to that? Yeah, I think he was around. To, I think he got like, quit for a bit. But, yeah, like, you couldn't pick anybody else. So, then we go to Natalia versus Lay Cool in a handicap match for the Divas title. Now, this back in 2010, man, these women's matches were short. This match lasted three minutes and 38 seconds. So, are you saying the women weren't respected? The women weren't putting on... Well, well, well duh, they weren't putting out banger after banger after banger after banger. But now they are, probably, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. Cool! No. Um, but yeah, so, like, the, the women weren't respected. The women didn't get enough time, thanks to Vince McMahon. Dummy. Dumbass. So, self-proclaimed co-Divas Champions. Michelle McCool and Layla. This this was a good team. Michelle and Layla. They had not a great match at Extreme Rules 2011. Loser leaves WWE. Remember that? I don't. <laughs> so, th this match meant nothing. Because they didn't get enough time. Three minutes and 38 seconds, folks. Natalia defeats Lay Cool to win the Divas title. And Beth Phoenix comes out. Okay. And then we get to Kane... Versus Edge for the world title. Now, going in, the promos. Edge abducted Paul Bearer. How disrespectful this was to the late, great Paul Bearer. Yes, he didn't die for three years. I understand that, but this was, like, his last, like, big role. Last big role in WWE. After coming back after, I think, 2010 it was, so yeah. Um, I believe the lead-up to bragging rights, so, like, five or... Maybe, like, three weeks after The Undertaker returned? Um, from, from, from SummerSlam? And the promos, first of all, the, to, 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 like, the lead-ups in the match, like they do in, like, every, every WWE pay-per-view ever now, um... They showed The Undertaker versus Kane in the Hell in the Cell match. Um, first of all, 
Undertaker is not facing Kane. Edge is. Edge is. He's abducted Paul Bear. I've already said this, but I have to say it again. How disrespectful. Last big roll. Oh, yeah. Let's have Edge and Paul... Edge and Kane. Right here. But... Let's have the storyline involve Paul Bear being kidnapped, throwing Edge throwing wings on Paul Bear's suit, throwing pizza on his head, hot sauce. I think there was hot sauce. Um, and throwing a a football, a bit uh, like a softball at his head. Last big roll. Yes, yes, he was supposed to be... Paul Bear was supposed to be at Raw 1000 with Undertaker and Kane. One last time before he passed away. Then his last appearance was on Raw 2012. Lead up to Extreme Rules, Randy Orton versus Kane. Randy Orton threw him into a meat locker. And that's the last time you ever see Paul Bear before he died on WWE television. So this was his last big role here. I, back in 2010, I didn't really under, I didn't really know who Paul Bear was because I was getting into wrestling and do not hate me in the comments for that, but I... I learned who Paul Bear was, Undertake, um, Undertaker and Kane's um, st um, storyline story li li dad. Cool. He, he was awesome. But now, grown up now, talking about it makes it real sad. The match wasn't, it wasn't good. It, the match ended in a draw. 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Edge goes for a spear. He, he's laid out like this. He puts an arm over Kane. I guess Kane puts an arm over Edge. One, two, three. Ends in a draw. I legit watched this pay-per-view not five minutes ago. Well, well, now we've been filming about 28 minutes now, but not 20 minutes ago. And I thought Edge won here. I'm like, Ref, what are you doing? Edge won. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. It ended in a draw. And then we go a month later to TLC 2010, which is a great pay per view, by the way, except for except for except for the main event here. Um, you have a you have a fatal four way TLC match for the world title. You have Kane, Edge, Rey Mysterio, and Alberto Del Jailbird. Re Alberto Del Rio. And Edge wins his 11 or 10, 10th world title. Yeah, 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 10th. And that was great. I'm kind of happy this ended in a draw for this because it, well, 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 well. Well, first of all, be, 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 before we get back to this real quick, I, I, I just got to say this. As I said, it was a fatal four-way. Kane, Edge, Rey Mysterio, Del Rio. It was supposed to be Kane versus Edge, and I think it was supposed to be a ladder match. I'm not sure. But Rey Mysterio and Del Rio were supposed to have a chairs match. Yes. A chairs match. And now I think I messed that up. 
go here. Here we go. Edge fools came when he was secretly pushed over a dummy. Only to reveal it was not a bull mare. General Manager Theodore Long added Rey Mysterio and Del Rio, who were previously in a rivalry themselves and scheduled to be in a chairs match to against each other and added to the world title in a fatal four-way TLC match. So Edge wins here and not here. Great. Perfect. The TL the TLC match here was good. The tables match, not so much. The chairs match against John Cena versus Wade Barrett. Um if you if you want me to do a ran against this, I can. Or TLC 2012. Um but no, okay, so so let's get back to this. So it ends in a draw. I have it like this. Edge wins, but he didn't. So, and then Edge brings out, like, the wheelchair to say Paul Bearer isn't here. So where was he? Was he not in the arena at the time? I, I don't know. I just... I knew back in, like, 2010, I thought this rivalry was good. Looking back at it now, disrespectful to the late, great Paul Bearer. Uh, so, Edge wheelchairs Kane into the barricade and breaks the barricade. Ends the match. I didn't... I thought this match was good until it, like, ended. <coughs> so then we have... So that match lasted 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Then we have the Nexus. Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel. Who won the match... I mean, who won the back the titles. Because David Otunga and John Cena beat... The champions, the next, Heath Slayer and Justin Gabriel. Now listen to this. They weren't the champions. Dash and Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre were champions. David Otunga and Cena beat them. Beat them. So why do Heath Slayer and Justin Gabriel get a title shot the next night like that? Oh yeah, because Wade Barrett, Owns Cena's ass. So the Nexus. With David Otunga. Husky Harris. A.K.A. Bray Wyatt. I'm glad they changed his name to Bray Wyatt. And Michael M McGillicuddy. A.K.A. Curtis Axel. Defeat Santino Morella. You, you you remember Santino Morella, the guy who got out in one second at the Royal Rumble in 2009, I believe. And who does the Cobra? And Vladimir Kozlov. Tag team match for the tag team championships. Tag team championship. This match lasted 5 minutes and 11 seconds. Who cares? And now we get to the main event of the evening. It's free or fired. Cena, what's he going to do? Is he going to spit in the face of all WWE? Now, now spit in the face. I'm going to say this next. Now, spit in the face of all WWE champions, Rowdy Piper, The Undertaker, Kane, Edge, RVD, Randy Orton, JBL, late great Eddie Guerrero, and even himself, if he counts the one, two, three, to Wade Barrett! 
I hated this storyline so much, guys. I just hate this cover, too. It's so bad. So, or... Is he going to count in the one, two, three for Randy Orton and get himself fired? Which means leaving the arena and staying home, Mr. Cena. We're going to talk about that, too. So, the lead up to this match wasn't good. I mean, I want to skip every single Raw. But the package, the, the package, the opening package, the theme song, what will John Cena do? This was beautiful. The song was beautiful. The, the flashbacks on Raw. His himself from 2005. He he looks out into the crowd. Him winning his first ever WWE title from JBL at WrestleMania 21. Very beautiful. I love the song. I even have it saved on my phone. I even have it saved on YouTube to my playlist. My liked videos. I love it so much. But the match was stupid. John Cena would count. One, two. Randy Orton or Wade Barrett kicks out. Two, 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 two. His shoulder was up. It's a two. John. Oh, hold on. It's a two. John Cena. First of all, when I watched this the first time, maybe I was 11. When, when I grabbed this on DVD the first time. Hey, John Cena. Hey, buddy. All of us can count to two. If you're not watching this pay-per-view at one years old. You don't need to keep shouting that it's two, 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 two. Because you know what two times four is? It's eight, not two. So that... That regard pissed me the hell off. It did. It really did. Like, you, like, after every pinfall that he did, and that, that Way Barrett and Randy Orton did, two, 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 two. It's two. Don't ring the bell, because it's two. <clears throat> I, I get that the refs. Do the two? Or like if it's a last man standing match, you say one, two, three, four, and they shout it like two times or three or once or twice. That's fine. No one no one says two, 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 50 times. No one does that. This match, besides that, was not all that great. But you had no idea what you had no idea what what Cena was going to do in this match. That was kind of like the build up to this match. Randy Orton had nothing to do with this match. Do you see this, guys? Yes, he was WWE champion. Good job. He was WWE champion. But this whole story.